just in case you didn't know, or maybe you might have forgot. Black women do claw diapers. Hey guys, it's Tasha Renee here. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you my personal clot diaper routine. I'm going to show you about four different ways. There might be numerous ways to do your laundry, but I'm just showing you what has worked best for me for the past six months. This is going to be my first of many clot diaper um, videos, so feel free to comment below and let me know anything else that you might want to see. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you're notified of every single upload, and let's just get into the video like the wash routine is really going to depend on the way that your laundry is set up so at my dad's house there is a washer and dryer here so i'm going to show you how i do my cloth diaper wash routine with a full washer and dryer in the house this is sage and he's in his little cloth diaper right now this is the normal wet bag that I take when I'm taking the diaper bag. I just got this larger wet bag that has all of his soil diapers in here. So everything in here is either full of piss, full of poop, God only knows what. So all of his diapers are in here. I'm going to take it to the laundry room. Then I just separate them. As you can see, there's like some poop stuff on there. Just rinse. And look, I just walk back in here, and who's awake? Hi, handsome. Hi. Somebody got little teeth. He's been in the same diapers from since he was born. So I have not transitioned into the one size diapers yet. He's still pretty tiny. He's about like, what, like 15 pounds? And. He's just smiling at me. You want to come in the camera? Come. Come. Um, he's been in the same... Sorry. Ah. He's been in the same size diapers since he was born. He's also been 100% exclusively breastfed. So he has not had any solids, any anything except for my breast milk. So once you start introducing solids to your baby, that's when the poop changes. So like I said, for the first six months up until now, the process for washing and drying his clothes has been fairly easy for me because I've been doing the same thing since he's been born. Hi, handsome. Hi. You telling everybody you're washing your diapers? We have the diapers on rinse right now. I just rinse the diapers because I don't want to wash the diapers with all the poop and pee. So the rinse cycle, the purpose of that is to basically just eliminate all the waste from the diapers before I actually wash it with soap. So I usually just rinse the diapers on a cold cycle and then I'm gonna wash them afterwards. So Tide, best thing to use. Hot cold. Extra. I'm gonna put it on low heat. And just like that they're done. I'm gonna go into details on a different video of the diapers that I use and where I got them from but that's pretty much it here are my freshly washed diapers wipes included I'm just gonna fold them up and that's it so we're back in St. Croix now and we got in our rinse we're doing and for the detergent we use, I use the oxygen. Okay, so we're going to do this again. Now we're going to do a full wash cycle. In St. Croix at my grandmother's house, there is no dryer. So we have to hang the diaper on the line. thing called sun, it is actually the best. I don't know if you guys can hear me because it's probably going to be windy. It is the best stain remover. The best stain remover. Like, look at this. It says poop all on it. Well, it doesn't have poop all on it because it's completely washed. It doesn't smell like anything. Mm -hmm. Can you see the stain? Mm -hmm. So I got all the cloth wipes on the line. All his diaper covers, 
all his fitteds, all his pre-folds, and the wet bag in the back. So some of these had, I don't know if you can see, what some of them had like a little stain on it. Actually, mostly this one. Had a little stain on it. But like I said, the sun is the best thing to dry the diapers. I have about like 14 diapers in rotation, which gives me about seven diapers a day. So I wash my diapers every single day, every other day, and this is my drying outside when I am home in St. Croix. They're all dry, stain free, all because of the sun. I think it was this one that was stained. All gone. All gone. <laughs> Are you done making all this noise? Do you see my son? By the way, he's standing up and he's six months old. Hey guys, so I am back home in Miami and it's time to wash his diapers. I just got back last night and I literally traveled with, sorry Papa. I literally traveled with his bag of dirty diapers. Like where I live right now, we share a washer and dryer. So there's a washer and dryer on every single floor that I live on. And um, there's no rinse cycle on the washer and dryer. I'll show you the method of washing my diapers when I have a shared washer and dryer. Yes! 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 Yes, Sage. Yes. Yes. The concept is the same no matter what um, method you do, whether you have a washer and dryer at home, whether you have the sun to dry them, whether you don't have a washer and dryer at all. The method, like I said, is always the same. First, you have to rinse out all the poop and the pee, and then you just wash the diapers like normal. Okay, so I just get a bucket, plain old bucket, put it in my tub. This is my wet bag that I had on the plane. So I just dropped the dirty diapers in there, and then my big wet bag, I'm just going to dump everything inside of my bucket. And this shit, stinks at the moment. I was traveling with pee and poo. I just try to like loose them up, take the covers off of the liners. I try to put the poopy ones up top. I know you don't want to see that. But yeah, this is actual shit. If you're watching this, obviously you have a child that poops, so whatever. So I just turn it on to cold water, like always. I always do my rinse in cold water. But I feel like if I have hot water, it's sticking to the diapers when I'm just trying to loosen it up with the, um, the cold water. This wash routine you can do whether you don't have a washer and dryer or if you have like a shared unit, um, a shared laundry, only because I feel like... My son is crying. Sage, he just wants, like you guys, he just wants to stand up. So with the water already filled, all I start to do, I get a plunger, and I start plunging the bag like this. And this is just gonna loosen up the poop, so I can be able to wash them in the washer and dryer. At the end of the day, you're just gonna figure out what works best for you, and so far this has been working for me. Um, I've only been cloth diapering for six months, so I'm just showing you what I do. I know sometimes people might ask, like, what are you going to do with the poop? And I feel like that's the biggest thing that holds people back from cloth diapering because they feel like they have to touch the poop or mess with the poop. Ain't that serious? Look that on the diaper box, it says that you're supposed to flush the poop. So it shouldn't be any different doing cloth diapers versus disposable diapers because you're supposed to flush the poop anyways. I got this diaper sprayer for my registry. Um, this diaper sprayer, it's mainly used to flush the poop. So you can put it over the toilet, put the diaper over the toilet, and um, you flush the poop out before you wash it. But I have never really felt the need to like spray out my poop because I feel like the plunging method, it gets all the poop out of the diapers anyway. When I get to the point where he's getting more solid, more thick poop, I'll just flick it in the toilet and do the same thing like I'm normally doing. I'm just trying to give you as much information as possible in this one video 
Um, but like I said, cloth diapering is not as complicated as people might seem. It um, can be overwhelming if you're brand new to it. And I know I was completely overwhelmed at first in the beginning. But once you just dive right in and start, it's really not that complicated. But anyways, back to washing my diapers. Um, like I said, I was plunging it in the cold water and I usually do like let's say about like 50 pumps and then I just let it sit for a minute so it was just sitting here for about like five or seven minutes and then I'm gonna go back to plunging. once I do this I'm gonna dump it all out and then refill it again and do it a second time in the cold water again so I'm just dumping out all the dirty diapers for some people this might be gross I could care less it's my child and it's this poop so I just pick them back up and throw them back in the bucket. Okay, now that I finished my cold rinses, I'm just going to turn on the hot water and then I'm going to put some soap in it and pump those around before I put it in the washer and dryer. A little bit of soap. A little bit more. Oh. Hi. So after I plunged them in the tub, I wrung them out, wring them out, squirted it all over, whatever, and then I brought them to my shared laundry. So literally all I'm doing is putting all of the diapers in here. And then the wet bags, like always, like I said, just put them on the other side. The wet bag. And I use a Tide. Mm -hmm. Sounds about right to me. And like normal, always wash it on hot. Hot. And I'll just do this. And that's it. You smell them, they don't smell like anything, so they're really clean. One of the questions that people have asked too is about bleach. I try to avoid using bleach. I have used bleach though. But um, I've done it, I want to say, about like two times in the entire time I've been washing his diapers but i feel like the biggest thing that can help to avoid all the stains is to avoid using the dryer and using the sunlight just put them in the dryer and you put them on low heat and that's pretty much my cloth that i have routine washing team that's it i forgot to say so if you don't have a dryer at home this is what I use to dry the diapers. So I got this rack from Amazon. I might just link the information below in the description. But I just put the diapers over the rack and I would dry them out this way. The reason I don't use this is because on my balcony, the sun doesn't hit. So I rarely use this, but if I am set up where the sun directly hits, I would definitely use this as my drying method. That was my cloth diaper routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is like first of many cloth diaper videos that I'm gonna be posting. So if you have any questions, comment below. Like I said, I've only been in doing this for six months, so I'm learning as I go. But I'll show you guys what I'm doing along the way. Subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video. And don't forget, black women do cloth diaper. It's all done now.